Are you tired of feeling unsure about how to price your content for brand sponsorships? Well, don't worry. In today's video, we'll go over all the things you need to consider when pricing your content, including posting types, engagement rate, brand goals, and the brand's budget, so you can quote brands with confidence and get paid what you're worth. Hey creators, welcome to Social Blue Book. My name is Tiffany Day, and on this channel, I help you elevate your skills and unleash your full potential to become a professional content creator. Now, before I share how to price your content to help you earn income in your creator business, let's go over exactly when to give brands your rate cards. Now, a big mistake a lot of creators will make is they add a rate card in with their media kit and attach that to the first initial pitch email. Now, while this may help sometimes, there's two main things that are wrong with this strategy. And the first is you may be undervaluing your own worth. Now, this is because no two sponsorships are the same. And although two brands may both want a 30 second ad integration in a YouTube video, the brands may have different scopes of work, such as the placement and where the ad goes, or the details and what you're supposed to say. And of course, other requirements such as rights and usage, which we'll get into later on in this video. Now, this leads to the second mistake, which is boxing the brand in. Since no two sponsorships are the same, when you send over a rate card with deliverables and prices, the brand assumes that's all you can do. So if they need slightly different deliverables or their marketing budget doesn't fit within your rates that you gave them, they just kind of assume there's no wiggle room and they may automatically pass and go with the creator that is a bit more flexible. So before you give the brand your rate card, you should always discuss the details of the campaign with the brand and customize your rates for them based on the checklist we'll provide in this video, starting with number one, the deliverable details. So deliverable details include the type of posts that you'll create, such is a dedicated video versus an integrated video, as these are going to have different prices. And as a pro tip, integrated YouTube videos are generally 30% less than what a dedicated video will be. You'll also be able to assess how many posts the brand needs, or if the brand needs you to cross promote on different platforms, such as Instagram or even TikTok. For example, if the brand wants a YouTube video integration, a TikTok video, and an Instagram story, instead of charging them individually for the deliverables, you can package your prices together and discount everything by 5% to incentivize the brand to say yes to your rate. And getting this information first also allows you to customize your rates based on the second tip, which is based off of your engagement rate. When a brand reaches out to you or you reach out to them, they usually have a specific formula or calculation that they use to determine determine how much they'll pay you based on your engagement rate. Now, every platform calculates engagement rates slightly differently, which is why I use Social Blue Book's quote calculator. Once you connect your platforms to Social Blue Book, they're able to do the math and determine your engagement rate for you, making your life a lot easier. And with their quote calculator, I can go in and add tip number one, which is a type of post and number of posts that I'll be creating. And then I'll add in the amount that I wanna charge with a suggested rate underneath which is based off of my engagement rate. And a quick pro tip here, I usually will round up to the nearest $100. So if Social Blue Book is suggesting my rate be $233, I will just write in $300 to make things a lot easier. Again, it's important to remember that engagement rate is just one factor that brands consider when determining pricing. And as you can see on the quote calculator, we have production cost, which is tip number three that you consider when you're pricing your content. Now, as a content creator, Creator, you're in charge of planning, scripting, filming, editing, and promoting your content. And all of these tasks take time and energy and should be something that you're compensated for. And to give you a better understanding, if you were to hire someone to film a video for you, that person would charge you a rate based on their production cost. And there's no difference between you filming and someone else filming. Again, brands base their value on engagement rate only, which is why you should be charging for all the other services you provide to create high quality content that converts and makes the sponsorship a success. Now, there are different ways that content creators can charge for their production cost. One common method is to include a production fee as a part of the overall sponsorship package, which may be a flat rate based on the specific cost associated with creating the content. Another option is to break down production costs and charge separately for each expense. For example, a creator may charge separately for the equipment rental, props, and even software cost. Ultimately, the method of charging for production cost will depend on the creator's preference 
and the specifics of the sponsorship agreement. Now, although this may not seem like a normal way to do things, it's important for content creators to factor in the production costs when pricing their sponsored content to ensure that you're being compensated fairly for the time and resources that you're generating. And once you have the deliverable details, engagement rate, and production costs calculated, you'll want to see if the brand needs any additional services, such as rights and usage, content boosting, and exclusivity. These are things that brands will assume come with the original content price, but they're actually things content creators should be charging for separately. And don't worry, we'll break all of these down in more detail on how to price for each one in an upcoming video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video next. But now that you know what to consider when pricing your content, let's go over the best way to email a brand to get this information so you can give them your rates based off their marketing budget. And if you're wondering why their marketing budget is so important, it's because you're able to customize your advertising packages based on the amount of money they're willing to spend, not overcharge them if the budget is higher than your rates. So when I'm negotiating with a brand, I'll simply say, to best serve you, I would love some additional information that will allow me to customize my advertising packages to meet your brand's needs. Can you please provide the following details? A campaign brief, Deliverables needed, including the number of deliverables and the platforms to post on, the timeline in which I would need to post by, any additional services required, such as rights and usage, content boosting, or exclusivity, your brand's KPI goals for this campaign, and the marketing budget for this project. Once you have all of this information, you can start to calculate everything yourself or use Social Blue Book's quote calculator and send the quote or rate card to the brand. And as the last pro tip of the day, when I'm sending the brand my rate card, something I like to say is, the investment for this project will be. This is business lingo that brands love and it helps them understand that they're investing into their company's needs and not just paying a content creator. So you're more likely to get a yes. But let me know in the comments below what your favorite tip was in this video. And as always, I'd love to continue the conversation over in our Discord channel, so make sure to follow the link in the description box below. My name's Tiffany Day, and I'll see you in the next video.